So today we're comparing two laptops, the MacBook Pro 16 with M1 Pro and a 16 core GPU compared to the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Extreme Gen 4, which has 32 gigabytes of RAM as well, but it's using an RTX 3060. Now, technically you can spec this guy all the way up to an RTX 3080. I don't suggest you do. This form factor is just not meant for that, but 3060, even 3070 is the sweet spot for this guy. The big deal though, is that you save money buying the Windows laptop. This is 600 bucks cheaper than the MacBook Pro. Now, if you're talking about traveling, hands down, the Lenovo is lighter. This is a 3.99 pound laptop. So about half a pound lighter than the MacBook Pro, which is 4.63. And it's deceiving because if you have these guys beside each other, you would think the MacBook Pro is lighter because it happens to be thinner and a slightly smaller form factor. If you're talking about lid flex, they're very equal, maybe slightly better on the Lenovo, but the benefit of the ThinkPad lineup is they're all MIL STD tested, which means if you're going from one harsh environment to another, the Lenovo is more likely going to withstand that type of environmental condition. Now they both have these beautiful magnesium alloy chassis. The big difference though, is that the Lenovo has this kind of like, I don't know, rubberized texture it feels better in my personal opinion, but it's just, it's just a fingerprint magnet. Like you touch this thing, it's just gonna get dirty and it just picks up dirt off the table and it sticks against the body of this design. The port setup is interesting because they're almost the same amount, right? The MacBook Pro has two Thunderbolt 4 ports on the left with a third one on the right. The Lenovo also has two Thunderbolt 4 ports on the left but instead of adding an extra one on the right, they went with two USB ports, which I personally think offers a better variety. Now, both of these laptops have an SD card slot and both of them have an HDMI port and a headphone jack so you can listen to music. Now, I do like the charging capabilities of the Mac better. You know, it comes with MagSafe, right? Like you, you walk against this thing and, and the cable knocks off. It's not gonna take the laptop down with you. And the Lenovo is not using a MagSafe connector, but it is a proprietary connector that Lenovo has created. It's not gonna knock off when you walk by it, like your laptop will probably fall onto the floor, but it is a better idea than the general barrel connector. The charger sizes are pretty big for both of them, but it's a little bit bigger with Lenovo, so you will be carrying slightly more weight, which kind of brings up the total weight of the laptop a bit closer to the MacBook Pro 16, but still technically lighter. And if you're opening up both of these laptops, they can easily be opened up with one hand. Slightly easier on the MacBook Pro just because there's a little lip on the bottom here, whereas the Lenovo, you kind of have to put your finger in the middle. Now, the hinges on these guys are fantastic. They're very stiff on both of these laptops. The benefit of the ThinkPad though, is that the display can be placed flush against the table, whereas the MacBook Pro kind of ends up in this angle. The keyboard is fantastic, but I will give the edge to the ThinkPad. Typing on this is just on another level. Like the ThinkPad keyboards have always been one of my favorite. They're just so tactile, it feels, it's like almost mechanical is what I'm trying to say compared to this guy, right? Like don't get me wrong, the MacBook Pro 16 feels fantastic to type on, but the Lenovo is better. You get slightly bigger arrow keys with the Lenovo compared to the MacBook Pro and you also get a nipple in the middle. So if that's something you like to touch, maybe on your lunch hour or use, you have that benefit. Now touchpad, there's no competition. The MacBook Pro is just way better. It's bigger, it's more accurate. I find this to be hit or miss. Like it's a glass touchpad, but it's not as accurate as what the MacBook Pro can do or even the Surface laptop. Now both of these laptops have fingerprint scanners to log you in, but you can pay $15 more on the ThinkPad and get an IR camera at the top. What that will let you do is use facial recognition to log you in. And if you've used Windows Hello facial recognition before, it's just a much better way to log into your laptop. Not that logging in with your fingerprint is hard, it's just slightly faster and more convenient. As for sticker placement, it's obviously better on the Mac. They've never hired a sticker guy in their entire life and they just don't believe in supporting such a very violent and aggressive industry. Whereas on the Lenovo, the sticker placement is there. It's a little bit crooked, but I feel like when you buy a laptop this expensive, there should be no stickers at all. Now, if you still hate the notch, let me know by hitting the like button down below, but also subscribe if you're enjoying the content so far. Listen, I hated the design of the notch when it first came out, but just like the iPhone, 
you forget about it. It just blends into the background and subconsciously you don't notice it anymore. Both of these displays are absolutely gorgeous. They have very thin bezels, they're 16 inches. You only get a 60 Hertz panel with the Lenovo, doesn't matter which display option you choose. Whereas on the MacBook Pro, it comes standard with ProMotion or 120 Hertz. Overall, it's a better panel, but the one area that the Lenovo kind of excels in is the option to choose it with a matte display. If you're working in a very sunny or room with lots of reflection in it, this display is just gonna ignore it. Whereas on the MacBook Pro, because it's using a glass panel, it just picks up a lot of reflections. Now, because it's the 2500 by 1600 panel, there is more pixel dense panels to choose from. And I know some of those are glass, which will be more glossy, but at least you have the option to choose a panel that's matte. Now, color accuracy is great, obviously better on the MacBook Pro. They stay around 500 nits of brightness would generally use, but the advantage of the MacBook Pro is that peak brightness of 1600. If you start watching any HDR content, it automatically kicks on and it just looks absolutely amazing. As for the webcams, they're both 1080p, but the MacBook Pro does look better. The processing and algorithms that Apple are using makes the image quality look much better. Not that this is doing a bad job, but it just looks better on the MacBook Pro. Speakers are really good on both of these laptops. They're front firing speakers, but they're still much better on the MacBook Pro. <laughs> This is the microphone on the ThinkPad X1 Extreme Gen 4. You are now listening to the microphone on Lenovo's ThinkPad X1 Extreme Gen 4. And now you're listening to the MacBook Pro 16 microphone. You are now listening to the microphone from the MacBook Pro 16. Now performance is very interesting because it really depends on what you're doing, where one laptop truly excels over the other. If you're a developer, I feel like a lot more people are going to appreciate the MacBook Pro over the Windows laptop, unless you have to have more than one OS installed. That's where the Windows laptop will shine because you can put Linux on this, you can have Windows on this, you can do a few other things, and it'll give you more diversity. But if you're talking about like raw performance in compiling, the MacBook Pro is just gonna win. Same holds true if you're a video creator. It doesn't matter if you're using Final Cut, which you can't do on Lenovo, or DaVinci Resolve, or Adobe Premiere Pro, the MacBook Pro is going to completely beat out this Lenovo X1 Extreme Gen 4. Same holds true with Photoshop, but I feel like a lot of people who are buying these things for Photoshop will feel like either of these laptops are just as fast. The only time that this laptop truly excels is if you're doing something that hasn't been updated for Apple Silicon. For example, if you're doing a lot of uh, virtual effects, let's say you're using After Effects, for example, the Lenovo X1 Extreme does very well. Same holds true with 3D work. You're still better off using an NVIDIA GPU. It just loves those CUDA cores. And if gaming is even remotely on your mind with either of these laptops, then the Lenovo is gonna be able to do it. The RTX 3060 inside of here can play most titles very comfortably if you don't mind leaving the settings on medium or high. Now, one thing that's been coming more and more important to me is fan noise. I used to never really care because I've always used desktops and I was just used to it. But after using this for the past couple of months, I've gotten really spoiled. Like I don't hear the fans at all. It doesn't matter if I'm rendering a file, playing a game or doing anything intensive, the fans just don't go on unless I'm doing something crazy for a long period of time. And even then I have to literally put my ear to the computer to even slightly hear the fans. Whereas this Lenovo, it's not a loud computer by any means. Like it's not nearly as loud as a gaming laptop. Like Lenovo is doing a good job of keeping it around 40 decibels, but you still hear the fans. Like they do kick on. And because of that, Lenovo has to keep the temps of this laptop very conservative, which means you don't get as much performance out of it compared to like a thicker gaming laptop. Battery life is no contest either. MacBook Pro 16 just lasts me the entire day. I never have to worry about charging it. Lenovo only gets me about four and a half to four hours and 45 minutes of use before needing to charge. So you will have to charge this more often. There's also the fact that the laptop will not perform at its full potential unless it's plugged into the wall. Whereas on the MacBook Pro, it doesn't matter if you're plugged in or on battery, you're always going to get the exact same performance. But the Lenovo does have one advantage. It's the fact that you can open it up anytime and upgrade some of the components. If you want more RAM, there's two slots in there. You can put up to 64 gigabytes. If you wanna swap out the NVMe SSD for something bigger, you can do that too. And there's even a second slot 
to put a second storage drive in here if you want to expand it down the road. Whereas on the MacBook Pro is whatever you select is what you get, so don't get upset. So here's what I think. I think they're both fantastic laptops. Obviously, if you're a content creator, a developer, the MacBook Pro is going to be faster, but not everyone needs a crazy expensive computer to do that. For a lot of people, this Lenovo is gonna be more than fast and it's gonna last them years to come. Me personally, I'm gonna pick the MacBook Pro because that's all I do. All I do is edit video. But if you're someone who's like traveling a lot and is doing a little bit of everything or his focus is mostly on virtual effects and maybe a little bit of 3D work, then you'd probably wanna get the Lenovo. You also have the upgrade ability so you can tinker with it down the road. Either way, these are both amazing computers. It really comes down to your budget and what you do. And I think the only person who can answer that type of stuff is you yourself. I hope this video makes things a bit clearer. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one.